Hey what's up creators and welcome back to the first hour of Unreal Engine course. In this video, we're going to be showing you how we can take our enhanced input action mappings that we set up in our last video and use that to trigger the flashlight when the player presses F on the keyboard. So we're at a point where we've actually already got the key binding set up through the enhanced input action mapping system. Now what we need to do is write the blueprint that actually executes that change of the flashlight. Let's jump straight into Unreal Engine and get started. So if we go to our content drawer, we're now gonna go back inside of our third person character. Our third person character being the blueprint class, which is going to contain all of the components for our character, such as the 3D model, the light, the camera, and so on but then also all of the associated code. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our event graph and notice in our event graph, we actually already have some code in here. We've got code for things like handling the way we aim, the way we look around, the way we move. And all of these are going to be attached to enhanced input actions. We're going to be doing exactly the same thing, but with our flashlight. With that, you can see they're going to be running some kind of code in the form of a function or an event um, or a macro or something like that. Again, we're about to write our very first blueprint code together and we're going to do it step by step. So what I want you to do in your event graph is just find yourself some empty space. You can move around this event graph by simply just holding down right mouse button and then just moving your mouse to pan around. With that done, let's go ahead and find that input mapping that we created. Right click in the empty space and all I'm going to do is search for flash. And you can see now we have got an input for IA underscore flash toggle. Make sure you use the top one, it's the event that we want. This is essentially just going to give us an event. An event being something which is going to instigate our code. That's going to give us our event. So whenever that F key is triggered, we are then going to execute some code. So let's take a look at this. So we've got a pin here from our triggered. If we drag out from this, this is where we can execute our code. If we go and get our flashlight inside of here, I've got my spotlight. I can drag and drop it into my event graph so I can start telling things to happen to it. And I can click on this to move it around. But more importantly, what I'm going to do with my spotlight is I'm going to drag out from this and I'm going to search for toggle visibility. So this toggle visibility node that we've created is essentially going to be a function which is going to toggle the state of the visibility of our spotlight, essentially just turning it on and off. We can see that property if we go to spotlight in the top left hand corner in our components panel and then search for visible. And like I said, it's just going to toggle that. So each time you call it, it's just going to change it. So if it's on, it's going to turn it off. If it's off, it's going to turn it on. It's just a blueprint function that's been ready made to quickly alter that parameter. With that being said, what I'm going to do is just drag out from triggered and make sure that when we toggle that flashlight input action, we are going to trigger the toggle visibility node. And then as usual, I'm going to go ahead and just press compile save and test. So just jumping into the game here now, you can see I can still move around as before, but when I press F, I press it on and off, you can see my flashlight is turning off and on. So that's it, our flashlight is fully set up. We have used the enhanced input action mapping system to actually trigger our code. Then we've written some basic blueprints to make all of our flashlight system work. This is really exciting stuff. Move on to the next video to continue your Unreal Engine learning journey. And as always, stay awesome, keep creating.